Donald Trump campaign organization has confirmed that both President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris has made phone calls to the president-elect, Donald Trump, conceding defeat and congratulated the next United States of America, USA president. According to the campaign organization, Kamala Harris congratulated the president-elect and both spoke on unifying the country ahead of the vice president maiden speech after defeat slated for later in the evening, according to America Local Time. Joe Biden, who is expected to address the nation on Thursday, invited Trump to White House and expressed his commitment for smooth transition process. President Joe Biden has congratulated Donald Trump on his presidential victory over the phone, the White House says. Adding, Biden expressed his commitment to ensuring a smooth transition and invites Trump to meet him at the White House. He will address the nation on Thursday to discuss the election results and the transition, the statement adds. White House said Biden also spoke with Vice President Kamala Harris and congratulated her on her historic campaign. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris spoke about the importance of unifying the country during their call on Wednesday, Trump's campaign says. Trump campaign official Stephen Chen in a statement said during the call in which Harris congratulated Trump on his win, Trump acknowledged Vice President Harris on her strength, professionalism, and tenacity throughout the campaign. On the campaign trail, Trump and Harris frequently exchanged barbs. He used nicknames such as Lying Kamala and Crazy Kamala for the Vice President and questioned her racial identity as a black woman. Harris accused Trump of only thinking of himself and said she believed he is a fascist, according to BBC. We had reported that President Joe Biden of the United States of America, USA and the country Vice President and Democrat political party candidate, Kamala Harris have refused to issue statements hours since electoral college results showed that Donald Trump of the Republican political party won the presidential race with 286 to 226 as at 10.45 a.m. local time on Wednesday. According to Newsmax, a local media in the United States of America, as of 10.45 a.m. Wednesday, Trump was ahead of Harris in the Electoral College at 286 to 226, with swing states Michigan and Arizona leaning Republican. Trump, who will be sworn in on January 20, 2025, also was on course to become the first Republican in 20 years to win the national popular vote. President George W. Bush, 50.7%, defeated Senator John Kerry, 48.3% in 2004, Newsweek reported. Close associates to Donald Trump said he still had not received a congratulatory phone call for winning the election from President Joe Biden or Vice President Kamala Harris as of Wednesday morning. Kamala Harris had in her last recent posts on social media platforms while the election was ongoing, made statements that showed she might have observed some irregularities during the election on Tuesday. Some of her posts read thus in quotes, If you are in line before the polls close, stay in line. It is your right to make your voice heard. If you have any trouble casting your ballot, call our voter assistance hotline. 833-336-8683. If you're in line when the polls close, stay in line, because you have a right to make your voice heard, evilvote.com. I love Gen Z, and I am grateful to our first-time voters for making their voices heard. Evilvote.com, hopped on the phone to speak with voters and one future voter today. Thanks for picking up my call. Jennifer and Sage, help us get every last voter to the polls, calls.kamalaharis.com. Joe Biden also issued a statement during the election and said, if you encounter any issues while voting, contact the voter assistance hotline, 833-336-8683. Vice President Kamala Harris had cancelled her election night party as Donald Trump was projected to make a stunning comeback. Kamala Harris has told the crowd gathered at her event, 
via a spokesperson that she won't be speaking tonight. Kamala Harris supporters had gathered at Howard University with tents as the night wore on end as results piled up in favor of Donald Trump, according to Wall Street Journal. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris have not connected yet as of early Wednesday morning, Trump's senior advisor. Jason Miller said on ABC News, Good morning, America. As of the last time I spoke with President Trump, they had not connected, but we'll see what happens today, Miller said, going on to stress the message of unity. I think what President Trump said last night when he's up there on the stage was that he wants to heal the country. This is the time when we put aside the political divisions. We bring Democrats, Republicans, people who aren't necessarily even involved with politics together, Miller said. While the results were being announced and declared, Republican Donald Trump claims victory in the 2024 presidential contest after Fox News projected that he had defeated Democrat Kamala Harris, which would cap a stunning political comeback four years after he left the White House. Donald Trump pledged to heal the country on Wednesday as results put him on the verge of beating Kamala Harris in a stunning White House comeback. Donald Trump and Vice President-to-be, J.D. Vance called the electoral victory a historic political comeback, vowing economic revival, stricter immigration policies and new appointments. Some media stated that Donald Trump re-election as USA 47th president will cap a remarkable comeback four years after he was voted out of the White House which will usher in a new American leadership likely to test democratic institutions at home and relations abroad. Trump took to the stage with his wife Melania to address supporters at his rally at the Palm Beach County Convention Center in West Palm Beach, Florida, on Wednesday early morning night according to local time in the United States of America. The Economist news media described the electoral victory of Donald Trump as, it is an extraordinary comeback, or, as Donald Trump triumphantly put it, a political victory that our country has never seen before. Since losing in 2020 he has survived impeachment, conviction as a felon, numerous other indictments and two assassination attempts. He will become the oldest person ever to win the White House. The satisfaction with high inflation and immigration contributed to a sense among voters that America was on the wrong track, for which they naturally blamed the incumbent. Kamala Harris was stuck with her association with the current administration. Reuters International News Agency stated that, a Donald Trump presidential election victory has huge implications for U.S. threat policy, climate change and illegal immigration. Trump's tariff proposals could spark a fiercer trade war with China and U.S. allies, while his pledges to reduce corporate taxes and implement a spread of new cuts could balloon U.S. debt, economists say. The president-elect has also promised to launch a mass deportation campaign targeting immigrants in the country illegally and vowed to increase U.S. production of fossil fuels.